Today I want to tell you all about the benefits of growing a trap crop. What's a trap crop, you ask? We're going to talk about it in today's video. Welcome to Gardenery. Gardening is ordinary again. That's the thing we're trying to get to happen at the Gardenery channel. So um, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Our goal is to make gardening more easy and just practical and normal for all of us because gardening is good to the third power. It's good for you, it's good for your community, and it's even good for the whole planet. How many other things in the world are like that? I can't think of many. Today, I wanna to tell you about calendula and why you should plant it in your kitchen garden and how it is a trap crop. So what's a trap crop? A trap crop is just what it sounds like. It's like a crop that you plant to trap pests. Um, pests are like a normal everyday part of the garden. Everybody has them. If you're growing an organic garden, you're gonna have pests. It's just part of the deal. And uh, it's not something to get stressed out about. I have to say, one of the most common questions I get asked anytime someone sees my garden is, what about pests? Oh my gosh, pests, pests, pests. And it's just like a freak out moment. And I have to tell you, if you're focusing on the pests, you're just kind of, you're missing the best part of the garden. Let's just put it that way. So pests are a normal part of the garden. It's just gonna be there. And um, we just learn to live with it. So oftentimes people will see pictures of my greens for instance, like my Swiss chard here, they'll see the Swiss chard or pictures and they'll be like, how do you not have any holes in your leaves? And you know, like markings, how are the leaves so beautiful and green? And uh, one of the answers is trap crops. So if you'll notice right next to my Swiss chard is calendula. And I have to admit, I've been really lazy with my calendula this year. I haven't deadheaded it and kept it really nice and clean. Um, it's one of those things I just kind of let do its thing. And I want to show you what's happening with this calendula and how it's serving to, um, to serve my plants in my kitchen garden as a trap crop. So calendula is one of those plants that actually attracts pests to the garden. Weird, right? So most people would be like, well, I don't want to grow that because I mean, why do I want to grow something that's going to bring pests to the garden? I want them to get out of my garden already. Uh, but the beauty is that what can happen with a plant like calendula is is it attracts the pests to it and keeps them off of the plants that you care more about. So in this kitchen garden, right next to the calendula, I've got peppers and kale and Swiss chard, and I just had cherry tomatoes that I pulled from the garden. And most of those uh, plants look super healthy. They don't have holes in them. They don't have pests on the stems. But if you look closely at my calendula, which is right next door, they are covered in aphids, literally covered. So, um, Along this stem here, there are probably, I don't know, hundreds of aphids on this stem. And there's about 50 more aphids on this stem. And I've been noticing more and more actually as the season wears on. So just the other day, I was coming out here to grab some seeds from the calendula and I noticed how these stems were just 100% covered in aphids. But yet, when I look right behind the calendula at my Swiss chard, you know, I pick a, a green from the garden and the leaves were like spotless. So uh, it's just pretty cool, right? So I am totally okay with having aphids all over my calendula if that means that the greens right behind it are going to be super beautiful. Um, so just something to consider is planting some trap crops in your kitchen garden. Uh, it's a great organic way to deal with pests and to kind of let them do their thing, but not touch the plants that you care the most about. So there are a couple of things I could do to deal with the aphids on this calendula if I wanted to just get rid of them altogether. Uh, the first thing that a lot of people recommend doing with aphids is just literally spraying a plant, just spraying it super hard with water. I'm not gonna do that in this situation because that's gonna scatter the aphids 
all over the garden. And the whole point of the trap crop is to keep them contained in just one area. What I could do is come in and cut the stems of the calendula that are covered with aphids. So I could have a bowl of soapy water um, right below this plant and literally just cut off the stems and have them drop into the soapy water right away so that they're not able to fly off and disperse into the rest of the garden. And then the other thing I could do is to treat this plant on its own. So I could use um, a simple neem oil diluted spray and spray these aphids right on the plant to try to kill them on contact right here on this plant. Or I could do what I am doing, which is just letting them kind of do their thing on the plant and not stressing too much about it. As long as every time I come out to the garden, I don't see the aphids migrating over to the rest of my plants in the garden that I care more about, then I may just let them sit here and do their thing. The great thing to think about in the kitchen garden is something I talk about in my book, Kitchen Garden Revival, is to think about nature. And in nature, it's not these just one thing all in isolation. You get to see more of an ecosystem. And so the reality is, if these aphids hang on long enough, there's going to be a predator that'll come along and, uh, and take care of these aphids for me. Something like a an, an ladybug or maybe even a bird or another um, animal that likes to eat insects like these. So the whole point of this message is don't stress about pests because that just takes away the joy of the kitchen garden and that is not the point my friends so plant a trap crop like calendula and uh, you'll find that it will pull all the pests away from the rest of your favorite kitchen garden plants and uh, you can just let them hang out here or treat them individually on the plant and you can enjoy the harvest of the food you want to eat more the aphids won't get to them you'll get to them first all right, thanks so much for watching the Gardenery channel and bringing back the kitchen garden with me. Don't forget to take the green thumb quiz. You can find out about it at gardenery.com quiz. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.